Hello friends and welcome to a special episode of La Rosa Reads. Today you will be reading with me at the beach, more specifically Myrtle Beach. Let's talk books. I am thrilled to be at one of my happy places doing one of my favorite things. We are at Myrtle Beach on a family vacation, and one of my favorite places to read books is at the beach with my toes in the sand, just feeling that gentle breeze and like hearing the sound of the waves. It's just so soothing. It's just a place and a moment where I find my zen. And I've been having a fun time at the beach. I'm going to take you along with me as I read two books. So one of my most exciting things to decide upon our arrival to Myrtle Beach is like, what books am I taking with me? What are gonna be my beach reads? And it was easy for me to choose two books. I was actually at the beginning stages of reading Yinka, Where Is Your Husband? And it was the perfect book to like take with me and read on the plane and read on the beach. I love Yinka, the main character, this British Nigerian young woman who is finding her way in life, love, and her career. So that was my first book, and I ended up finishing that book rather quickly. It was an amazing read, a quick read, an entertaining read, and I just have to say, you guys, I was so thrilled with how the story unfolded, it was pretty predictable from the beginning. You kind of knew what you were getting getting into. Yinka, this young woman who is just one of the last young women in her family to get married. She has aunties, which, you know, in her culture and in the black culture as well here in America, um, any and everyone is your auntie. Um, it's not necessarily um, through blood or DNA. And so she has aunties and friends that are just kind of pushing her along. And she's also at this turning point in her career. And so she's really at this moment of figuring out what, who does she need to be to be able to have the best life, all of the things that she wants out of life. And that journey was really fun. And yeah, it was predictable, but yet the ending wasn't quite as predictable as I thought it would be. So it had a nice little twist to it. Um, and the characters were great. Every single character was amazing and very worthwhile. Like even the side characters were very um, entertaining, intriguing. I wanted to know more about them. I wanted to spend time with them. Uh, loved the guys, even like the kind of jerks in the book. Let's see, we had Emmanuel, we had Donovan, we had Marcus, and we had Alex. And each of those guys really were a part of Yinka finding herself in her journey to becoming who she's meant to be. And each of them played a significant role and were very different, very quirky. So it was a little rom-com-ish. Um, and I love the element of um, her identity as a Christian. I thought that was amazing that uh, that was a part of the book. I haven't really found that to be the case in mainstream like romance novels. And so I was enjoying that part where of her identity being lifted up. So it was quite a delightful read. All right, so I had fun reading Nika, Where's Your Husband? And then, of course, you guys, I absolutely cannot travel anywhere and not visit an independent bookstore. So I had did a little research, a little Googling before arriving at Myrtle Beach, and I discovered Back Again Bookstore, and I absolutely was in love. It was love at first sight, because this is a bookstore that is new. Um, as we're filming and my arrival here and my time here at Myrtle Beach, it is July 2022, and this bookstore, this bookshop actually opened in May of 2022, so it is very new. But my goodness, it, the bookstore has two therapy cats, and I'm such a cat lover, and my daughters are cat lovers, and I thought what a fun shopping experience it will be to venture to this bookstore and snuggle up with some cats and catch them and love on them and peruse the shelves. And it truly was the experience that I was expecting and then some. 
Kelsey, the owner of this bookstore, is just a delightful woman, a wonderful, phenomenal book lover and um, bookstore owner. I wish her the best of luck. Please, you guys, if you're ever in the Myrtle Beach area, please take the time to go to Back Again Bookshop, to this bookstore that is amazing. We need to support independent bookstores, and this one, I think, is a keeper. I am praying and Cindy Levin like their way that this bookstore is here to stay for a very, very long time. <sighs> This has been an amazing book shopping experience. I'm so grateful to have had this experience on our little getaway to Myrtle Beach. I made some fun purchases. It's mainly a used bookstore and they have a few new books. I purchased My Killer Vacation. No pun intended, trust me on that. I also purchased The Santa Suit and I may have Christmas in July and read this sooner rather than later. Next, I got The Messy Lives of Book People, which sounds so endearing, it sounds so moving and touching, very character driven, which is what I love. Um, I got a wonderful shirt to just honor this moment and support this new local bookstore. Love it. And I got two more books for myself. The Gunkle, which I have been really wanting to read for a really long time. So I'm super excited that I am now the owner of this book. And this one, Beautiful World, Where Are You? by Sally Rooney is a book that I have been seeing time and time again, and I never was in the mood for it. It was never really appealing to me, but for some reason, it was just calling my name. So there you have it. And I purchased some books for my daughters because I'm a firm believer in doing that. So Gianna loved this book, The Wish Fairy, Too Many Cats. So I'm so happy she liked that and wanted to get that book. Natalie, um, an ambitious little reader she is, wants President of the Whole Sixth Grade, the Girl Code book. And so I got that for her. It's um, mighty thick. She, you know, she is capable of reading this book. As far as like the ability to do it, I don't know if it will keep her attention because it's pretty long. So I also got her Nikki and Deja, which I believe this must be the first book in the Nikki and Deja series. That's a little bit more um, her speed as far as length. So, <sighs> life is good. I am so thankful for this opportunity. It just brightened up my mood and I am a happy reader. Oh my lordy, you guys. It's just so hard to say see you later to the beach. This was an amazing vacation. I'm so thankful to God that he blessed us with safe travels, good health, and wonderful, memorable moments together. It has been such a blessing to be here and to get away. And I am finding that this time away has been a reset for me. And one of the things I have been thinking about a lot are all of you and how grateful I am to every single subscriber, every single viewer of La Rosa Reads. I, you know, it's not about the numbers. I was a podcaster years ago and I feel like sometimes when you're in this influencer realm, you can get caught up in the numbers and be like, oh, I only have this number of subscribers or, oh, I hope to get this number of subscribers. But I see individual human beings. I see individual people who have taken the time to tap that subscribe or click that subscribe, hit the notification bell, who've taken the time um, from their busy lifestyle and schedule to sit down and watch my videos. And I do not take that for granted. I love every single one of you. And I am so grateful to you for you know joining me on this ride. I have no, like, I'm not one of those influencers that has a goal of being like monetizing this whole gig. I just really wanted to build a community. I wanted to read in community with other book lovers because although I love reading as my own little thing that I do, 
I find that I'll read a good book or I'm looking for a good book and I'm kind of out there on my own with it. You know, I have a couple book loving friends um, in person, but I wanted to broaden that that circle. So that's my goal and I feel like it's being achieved thanks to all of you. So love you. So the second book that I decided to travel with is Honey and Spice. So many people were like raving about this book. It's a fairly new book. It is the July 2022 Reese's Book Club selection. And it was kind of nostalgic for me because this time last year in July of 2021, I was reading Seven Days in June, which is as of today, one of, it continues to be, it remains one of my all time favorite books ever. And so that was a romance novel, you know, kind of thing going on. And that's what we have here with Honey and Spice, with Kiki and Malachi. And so I thought, why not? Because last year I was at Lake Erie reading Seven Days in June. And so here I am at Myrtle Beach reading Honey and Spice. So as of today, this moment of recording, I'm on page 102. And ay, 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 you guys, like so many of you um, that I know in person and virtually said that this book is phenomenal, that you found it to be a quick read, an engaging read, entertaining, you fell in love with the idea of Malachi and Kiki being lovers. I, as of this moment, I'm kind of struggling a little bit because Kiki and Malachi are in college. I have been away from college for nearly 20 years, um, undergrad. And so I find that the language, the vibes, the scene, it's just making me feel old. Um, the, the slang, the talk, the conversation, the banter between the two is so sexy, so fun. And um, I love it. I love the way these two main characters are like flirting and talking with each other, but it's a little, it's kind of harder for me to read because I don't, I'm not really hip <laughs> to like the way people are talking nowadays. Um, so I'm really trying to follow closely. And yeah, I'm feeling a little out of touch with um, the whole scene, you know. So I'm trying to get out of my head and out of my current lifestyle and kind of throw myself into what was it like in the college years. Although I have to say, um, you know, Kiki, who's Nigerian, I love the shout out to like the um, African countries that these main characters and side characters um, hail from. I just love, like this is two books in a row that I'm reading about Nigerian women and I'm like obsessed. I'm so obsessed. But going back, I digress. I. Um, I did not live quite the wild, fun, loose, hip lifestyle that these college students are living whenever I was in college. I was kind of a nerd and a dance major, so I'm really trying to insert myself in this scene to appreciate it. And, you know, we're getting there. I have a feeling that I'm going to continue to enjoy it. And honestly, I'm kind of itching to finish it so that I can get into some of those books that I've just recently purchased at Back Again. So wish me luck. We'll learn more about how I feel about this book as I finish it. So there you have it. Yay! Well, that concludes this special edition of La Rosa Reads at the Beach. I have a question for you. Where have you been reading this summer? Have you also been reading at the beach? How about your backyard on the patio? hiking, camping. I'm curious to learn about what you've been up to, so let me know by sharing in the comment section below. And until next time, happy reading. Bye.